Even before we laid the first plank on the hull of Tarkine, Matt started the project that I want to show you today. Building Tarkine's transom had been a complicated and labour-intensive project, but it will catch our eye every time we look at our boat. The transom frame was especially complicated as it's curved and racked, but maybe we'll talk about that some other time. After the transom frame was built, we planked up the boat and moved on to work on some other parts. Last summer we came back to the stern and made the actual transom. It was built on a jig with plywood and a layer of beautiful kingbilly pine on top. Kingbilly is a soft Tasmanian wood with great durability and a tight grain, as it is a slow growing tree. These boards were given to us and had been laying in someone's shed for years. After the transom was cut to shape, we took it home and worked out the style of the letters and cut them out of paper. We put the paper onto the wood and then traced them onto the timber. This is when I started carving the letters. I have never carved letters before, but decided to start and work slow. I did not try to finish the letters right away, but worked until I was about 80% satisfied. I decided I would get better with more practice and go back to the letters after gaining more confidence. Then I would finish them to full satisfaction after hours of practice carving. Viewing the job as a side project, it took multiple months before I finished the letter carving and last I did the curly figures. It was such a joy to do and definitely one of my favourite jobs so far. After countless hours working on the wood carving, I felt satisfied with the results. Now it was time to coat the kingbilly pine in three layers of two-pack primer and undercoat. A bit sad to see the wood disappear behind the white paint, but it is necessary to preserve the timber for many years to come. I rolled and tipped the last coat, making the paint application even and smooth for that perfect gloss finish. It was exciting to use this paint as it was the first glimpse of what our boat will look like when Tarkine is ready for a hull paint.
the first step for gold leaf is taping the letters and this is a very precise job. You have to make sure that taped edges are perfect as you only want the glue to be in the places where you eventually want the gold leaf to end up. The idea is to put gold leaf in these carved letters on our transom, um, but I've never done it before. So yesterday I thought I'll do a trial run, so I carved meta squid, put some gold leaf into it. Um, not as perfect as I would have hoped it to be. So I did what every smart person does and went on YouTube, found a video of someone explaining how to do it properly. And I'm going to give it a go, start with the letter T. So I've typed it up, I'm going to put the glue in, let that get tacky for a bit, and then press the gold leaf down into the letter. And hopefully it will be slightly better than the practice squid. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, you know, the guy on YouTube made it look pretty easy. Yeah. It's uh, definitely not perfect. No. I'm also very happy we bought. We oh. just. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy we decided we are not rich enough for real gold because that would have been a different story. Yeah, it's not easy. It's funny how everybody says it's not easy and I was like, oh, I'm sure it's not that difficult, but it's not easy. It just looks a bit like a crumbled up mess. I think that's, yeah, what it generally looks like. I think maybe I should just let Try and let, let dry. it dry. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a bit of water. Oh, no. Even a bit of water came out. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Guard dogs. Anyways, it's a. Uh, this is what it is. This is what it is.
it is. I'll let it dry and then reapply glue on the bits that haven't stuck and then yep. try again. By the third letter, I had worked out a system. On the YouTube tutorial I watched, they might have been using genuine gold, as they managed to lay a full sheet in their letters, without breaking it. I'm using imitation gold, and it's very fragile. As soon as it makes contact with the glue, it sticks to it and breaks off, leaving most of the surface without any gold. The way I got it to work best was to use bigger pieces of leaf and overlay them in the letters. Just keep laying them in until every little bit is covered in gold. Then gently pressing it down with a brush or a rubber. This way probably creates more wastage as a lot of the gold gets brushed off later. Luckily it's not as dear as genuine gold. Most satisfying bit. Is it satisfying? Oh, I love taking tape off. <laughs> it's so it satisfying. It looks so good. It looks awesome.
By now you have probably noticed we named our boat Tarkine and carved Glen Hewen underneath the name. Both decisions can use a quick explanation. Tarkine is the name of Tasmania's northwest wilderness area. It is a magnificent area with wild beaches and ancient rainforests. Some trees in the Tarkine are thousands of years old. When we spent some time camping there, we found out that the name for this area was given to it by its indigenous people. The Tarkiner people lived in this wilderness for generations, and in their language, Tarkin means belonging to. We felt that this name would suit our vessel well, as she is built out of Tasmanian timbers and with lots of help from the community. She will therefore always belong to Tasmania. We chose to carve Glen Hewen on the transom. This is the area where we are currently building Tarkine. It is more of a birthplace than a home port. Officially Glen Hewen is not even a port. When we register the boat, we will have an official home port written on the side of the hull. But Glen Hewen is where Tarkine is born and where she belongs to. So we thought it fitting to carve this below her name. Thank you. 